what the hell is that? I guess that's, what, <laughs> that's backwards or something. <laughs> I like this. But it is odd looking. <laughs> it's like a duck with its feet on backwards, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's my friend Pat's initial reaction when he first saw the Scorpid Deathstalker 420, the slick black Cadillac. Weird but good. That is the nature of reverse limb, reverse draw, crossbows. We're going to talk about that here and I'm going to tell you why it's not only weird but good, but it's weird but also the future of crossbows. I did a couple of videos here recently about the Flatline 460, a new for 2023 crossbow from 10 point. What a great looking crossbow. Looks kind of similar to this, doesn't it? <laughs> 10 point licenses, I believe. Some of the proprietary technology that Scorpid uses when they designed these crossbows. So they pay a fee to Scorpid for every one of those that they make or whatever. We're going to be looking at the next offering from Scorpid in the upcoming video here on Death by Bungie. So make sure you subscribe. I got a question from a friend of Bungie asking what the advantages and disadvantages were for this type of technology, for the reverse draw crossbow. One of the first things that makes this crossbow so special, to me at least, is the fit and feel. The balance, when you reverse the riser, right, you take the riser from the fore end of the crossbow, move it all the way back down here above your trigger hand, above the trigger latch. You've got a lot of balance. You can hold the crossbow with one hand and it doesn't really want to move around. It's not front end heavy like, you know, the OB, for example. The original bungee, very front end heavy. Most of the crossbows would have the riser out here, right? So you got all that added weight that makes it want to be front heavy. Here, however, they move that back right over your hand so you can sit here and move it around without too much trouble. When I interviewed friend of bungee, Darren Cummings, for a previous video series that we did, he commented on a reverse draw crossbow. My brother bought one of the first, when crossbows were first legalized, the first one he bought was one of the first ones to have that reverse design. And uh, I think from an engineering standpoint, I, I'm surprised that that's not the uh, way that most boat crossbows are made now. Keep in mind that Darren Cummings is not a crossbow aficionado necessarily. He is a compound bow hunter, but we like him just the same. Another advantage to this design of crossbow is the fact that the limbs are parallel to each other. Now think about this a little bit. When I cock this back, pull that string all the way back here, what do we have? We have the limbs moving in toward each other. When I pull the trigger, they go back to this rested position. They're actually moving in and then out when I pull the trigger. The difference is from other crossbows, if you look at traditional style crossbows like the OB, the limbs are pulled back and when you pull the trigger, they move back forward, don't they? The difference between the two is in the traditional style, the forward draw style, when you pull the trigger, all that energy goes down the rail as the string travels down there. And then when it stops, it's jerking it a little bit, right? It's moving forward. With this style, the limbs stop perpendicular to you. In other words, like I pull the trigger and they're just moving out. Do you see what I'm saying? So they stop and it's not as jarring. It's a much smoother shooting experience than you might experience from your traditional forward draw style crossbows. I guess there's some theory of noise cancellation that goes on as the limbs are canceling each other out. It just makes it quieter. Really, I think the biggest and most obvious advantage of a reverse draw, reverse limb style crossbow is the fact that by pulling this back farther, the string back farther, you're increasing the power stroke. There's really two different concepts we're talking about with these reverse draw, reverse limb crossbows. Reverse draw and reverse limb. If you look at a diagram like this, I kind of drew out a rudimentary basic. This is your typical crossbow, your traditional style crossbow. We've got the riser up front, a forward draw. We talked about that when we looked at the 10 point crossbows recently. This looks like one of your center point ampeds, something like that, right? Very traditional, very time tested design. We've got the limbs out front, the riser out front, the limbs coming off the riser. The cams here, even if you don't have cams, if you have a recurve style crossbow, you still have the same thing. Just picture it without the cams and without the cables. Basically, it's the same design. The riser out front, pulling the limbs back. The string comes across here. Now, when we cock that crossbow, we're going to cock it with this red marker right here, right? Hand cocking. I like to hand cock my crossbows. But anyway, we've got the red string here. When you draw it back, right, what's going to happen is you're going to pull this string back towards your latches, towards your trigger assembly. Let's say that's right in here. We're going to pull this back 
to here, right? Pull it right back. And as we do that, as we pull that back, obviously our cams are gonna rotate this way, okay? Just so we know. The cams are gonna rotate that way and release that string. These limbs are gonna bend in and that string is gonna pull back. This is your traditional style crossbow. Very common, very time tested. Go over here to page two. The limbs are now reversed, right? They stick out front. They go away from the shooter, away from the trigger assembly, away from the riser forward of the crossbow. Now, the real advantage of a reverse limb style crossbow, the number one advantage, the biggest advantage is an increase in power stroke. You can really see the difference with the limbs out this way, our string will be out here. We're pulling back, we can pull back all the way back here and increase that power stroke. A greater power stroke means that the arrow will be in contact with the string for more time and it gives you more power, more energy in the arrow, a faster arrow. That is really the number one advantage of a reverse limb style crossbow. But what they've done, and this is where the reverse draw part comes in, what Scorpid, for example, has done, and many of these manufacturers is, they put the string out here, all the way out at the front of the crossbow, all the way out at the end. I forgot the rail, put a little flight groove in there. You kind of need that. <laughs> what Scorpid has done is they put the string out on the far end of the cams, however, at the end of the rail. So what happens now is we not only have a power stroke that goes from here all the way back to our latches, to our trigger assembly, but we have a power stroke. These cams will rotate inward, right, as we're pulling the string back. And now as these cams rotate inward, the limbs will move inward, right? They cock in an inward position, getting the crossbow narrower. But at the same time, our string, when this is cocked, we'll go all the way back there. We're not limited to the back of the cams. We can go all the way to the front of the cams on the far end of the crossbow. So basically this is a reverse limb. The limbs are reversed and a reverse draw. The draw comes off the far end. Now we have all that extended length of rail to impart more energy on the arrow. That is huge for increasing the amount of energy that you get, and also at the same time, increasing the efficiency of this crossbow design. This design of crossbow is far more efficient than anything else on the market. And if you doubt that, think about this. This crossbow, marketed at 420 feet per second, is a 150 pound draw weight. What other crossbows out there shoot 400 feet per second or so with 150 pound draw weight? Like it's not something that other designs can accomplish. The traditional forward draw design can't accomplish that. What's the big deal about draw weights? Well, when your limbs break, you'll know the big deal about draw weights, <laughs> really. You know, more stress you put on these limbs, it makes sense that at some point they're gonna break. All the other components with all that extra stress means that those components will fail sooner rather than later. If you doubt the value of low draw weights, and getting energy from long string travel instead of the high draw weight. Think about this. The crossbow behind me, the original bungee, bungee. has been dry fired five times. That's a draw weight of 175 pounds. A newer version of that crossbow from Excalibur, Genevieve's crossbow, broke its limbs without being dry fired. You know, that one broke limbs because we used it. <laughs> With this crossbow, unfortunately, I just dry fired it. I did a video about that, but it seems to have survived it just fine, as I kind of would expect. This crossbow, 150 pound draw weight. So when I pull the trigger, there's only 150 pounds, still an awful lot, hitting the end of the crossbow. Another advantage of that lower draw weight is when you work on it or change the strings. With Genevieve's crossbow, a 280 pound draw weight, you crank that back before you can stick your fingers in there and start changing the string. It doesn't make you the most comfortable person in the world if you know what I'm saying like it's a little bit uncomfortable to stick your fingers in there when that thing is pulled back under all that tension with this crossbow I can pull the string back with one hand stick my dowel rod in there and we are good to go now with that in place I can change that string out real easy see the strings real loose so I should be able to change that string and put on a new string when I'm changing the string it's probably only under like five or ten pounds of pressure so I don't feel uncomfortable at all 
changing these strings or cables. By being able to pull the string back that far, you don't have to have a bullpup design where the you know, the latches are back here by your ear, the safety's clear back by your ear or anything like that. It gives you a more traditional fit and feel where the safety's right here accessible, the trigger's right here, the string stops in front of your face, all the action's out here. <laughs> it's not perfect, right? I mean, this is a pretty good sized crossbow by modern day standards. The scorpids are a little bit wider. Some of the 10 points, they make them a little narrower, but they increase the draw weight to compensate for that string travel, all that sort of thing. But width to me is not that much of an issue though. You know, for a guy that shot a 36 inch wide crossbow, killed 40 or this year with it, with a 36 inch wide crossbow. This width really doesn't bother me. When I look through the scope, I've got my peripheral vision showing me that the crossbow's level or not, it helps you sort of keep it level and avoid canting. I want some width to it. I mean, after all, it is a, a crossbow. <laughs> and by making it a little wider, when you pull that string back and cock it, you don't have such a steep string angle. So when it's held by the latches, it's a little better on your serving, a little better on your string. But if you're looking for like a rifle width crossbow, this isn't gonna be the style that you're gonna be looking for without going to those higher draw weight models. The advantages of a reverse limb, reverse draw style crossbow really, really outweigh the disadvantages. It gets its speed out of design, out of technology, and not just, hey, how far can we bend this? That's the, that seems to be the approach most manufacturers take. Let's increase speed by bending things further or bending stiffer things further. There's a design here. There's ingenuity here. There's intelligence in this design. It's also patented, but it's my understanding that that patent will lapse soon, right? Patents don't last forever. When that does, in the next few years, you're gonna see the market explode with this design of crossbows and virtually every manufacturer will start making reverse limb, reverse draw style crossbows. That is my prediction. There's gonna be stuff like this all over the market in a couple of years. It is an exciting time to be a crossbow hunter, that's for sure. Our next video will look closely at Scorpid's new crossbow for 2023. I hope you'll join me. Until then, all hail Bungie the Third.